Hello everyone, welcome to Pico's Pit Walk uh, for the 2022 Jakarta e -Prix. As you may have noticed around me, this isn't the pit lane. This is the media centre. Um, a multitude of reasons today. Uh, firstly, apology, apologies for no uh, content uh, from interviews today. Uh, yeah, I, I was sent... Uh, I was sent on a wild goose chase basically this morning and got in as the press conferences ended and I we did get to speak to a couple drivers uh, I will tell you about what the drivers have told me uh, but we're just going to preview uh, what looks to be a pretty exciting race if I'm completely honest um, I'm actually in the media pen so this background you will find relatively familiar because usually you see this and it's the drivers who are here and I'm there behind the camera. Uh, but uh, I, I have spoken and um, I am allowed to be here. So this is fun. I, I, I get to be this side of the driver pen, which is something new. Um, so, yes, I'm really, really excited for this weekend. Uh, it's it it's gonna be it's gonna be a fantastic fantastic weekend. Spoke to the drivers. They they really like the circuit. They think it's a fantastic facility that they uh, that, that they built here in 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 Jakarta. Um, they think uh, the drivers. They think that it's going to be similar to what Santiago and Diria usually is. Santiago mainly because it's hot. The, it, that that's another one of the reasons why I'm not going outside today but don't worry I will do the pit walk properly tomorrow it's just today has just gone wrong for a multitude of reasons so that's why we're inside in the nice air conditioned lovely and cool comms box instead of walking around Jakarta for about an hour um, yeah yeah I'm, I'm completely fine completely fine um, right uh, so Yes, th this will be a race. So if you remember the Santiago races from a few years ago, uh, they were proper battery, uh, battery inducing, tire inducing races because here, oh, understandably, very hot, very hot, very humid. And these batteries, they have a ceiling of what, um, of what temperature that they can get to. Um, so tomorrow's race is going to be all about trying to keep the temperature of the battery cool but also because this is freshly laid asphalt um, and also there are some really high speed corners on this on this circuit as well uh, it's it's going to be about t keeping the tires in shape and uh, and and the temperatures of the tires down as well we haven't we've never really spoken about tire temperature in formula e it's just it's just something that doesn't usually happen but uh but yeah we'll, we'll see tomorrow um, yeah, I, I think I think it will be absolutely uh, enthralling. So tonight, uh, so today they they they've said about Diria because they think that that's what the what the race is going to be like. So from what we saw at the start of the season, might be what we see tomorrow. Uh, and specifically, Mitch Evans, when he mentioned this in the press conference, said the the, the four Mercedes will be quick like they were in Diria. So uh, the form, obviously the four, because obviously there's the two Mercedes power cars and the two Venturi power cars. Um, but uh, yes, th those, so yeah, those, those four, well, we've seen them up, up at the front most of the season so far. Expect more of the same from that. But as, as we know with Formula E, anything can happen, really anything can. And usually it does, um, to quote, the, the late great Murray Walker. Um, yes, so that's why they're saying that it's going to be a bit like Santiago, a bit like Deria. So mix the two. I genuinely think we'll be in for an, inter an, an, an interesting race. And we haven't even said the word rain yet. There we go. I've said it now. Um, yes, obviously, like, well, Formula E always has dry races. It always has dry races. They, they've scheduled the race for three o'clock, which is a normal start consider, uh, for what's usually in Europe. Um, but they're doing it so that fingers crossed that they can get ahead of the, what is the traditional 4 p.m. downpour 
you, you, you hear three. I was I was I was chatting to someone in the um, in the car into the circuit this morning, saying um, in this region, you hear three cracks. Of th uh, you, uh, uh, you hear you hear three cracks of thunder, three lightning bolts, and you got about three minutes to the rain. And so that's going to be interesting. What happens tomorrow? Uh, if it, if it's rain, I'm not sure if any of you saw on socials yesterday, but yesterday there was a downpour. I missed it somehow, um, just, uh, because I was stuck in an airport and then stuck in the Jakarta traffic for a very long time. Um, I think it was like four hours or so. I had cl collapsed into bed, woke up at 10 a.m. this morning. Um, but yeah, it's... All those factors make me think that we're going to be in for a seriously interesting race tomorrow. So definitely tune in, uh, 3 p.m. local time. Convert that into wherever you're watching. I know that it's 9 o'clock back home in the UK, so a little bit of an early morning, but um, it, it'll be worth it, I'm certain. Uh, just, some, uh, just some admin in terms of uh, drivers that I spoke to. I spoke to Sam Bird. He says qualify, qualifying is key. Obviously, he's the man who came up with the qualifying format, but um, he just he just hasn't he just hasn't been able to perform properly in qualifying. And if you start down the grid, then then you struggle to then, then you struggle to finish in top five. And those are the those are the positions for the big points. Um, but as we saw in Rome, uh, Sam can pull through the field. But it's just his qualifying hasn't meant that he's he's been there or thereabout this season. But so I've got everything across for him. But I'll be honest, I can tell that he's getting sick of these questions like, "Where's the pace gone? When's it going to come?" So I I'm very sorry, Sam, that I asked you that. I will not ask you again. In case it gets uh, unless we get to round 15 and you still haven't won, I might ask you then. Um. That aside, um, yes, I spoke to Jeff, uh, another man who hasn't won a race this season, but he's been there or thereabout. And he is 16 points, I think, shy of Stoffel Van Dorn at the top of the table. Um, but he said to me earlier today uh, that if he did win the championship this year, but didn't win a race, he'd absolutely sign for that. And so, yeah, he, he's, he, he's enjoying this consistency. Obviously, he wants the win, but if it doesn't come, as long as he's consistent and still there, then that's important. The last thing that I have of note is that uh, Oliver Askew mixed up Top Gun and Top Gear and described, uh, but yeah. That's it. I thought I'd end on that note because I found that pretty funny. Um, right, so tomorrow uh, we will be back to normal. I, I will do a proper Picos pit walk and. We will do that unless there is an absolute torrential downpour. Um, then I might do this again. But um, uh, but yeah, definitely tune in. It's going to be a fantastic race. Uh, we will see you tomorrow.